social media. How are you? Good to see you. I got my son's artwork on my board this morning. I got paper flying all over the place. And we're going to talk about some blind spots. We talk about some blind spots, guys, because we are almost done the first quarter of the year. And it's no joke. It's time to get serious. You guys ready to get serious? Put S in the chat if you're ready to get serious. Who's ready to get serious? I'm ready to get serious. Okay, can I give a little personal story for a second? Say yes if you're good with that. Just a little part. Can I just have like a little bit of space on this to just give a little? Okay, so I am seeing some incredible miracles. Like I am seeing troubles, frustrations, things that I have been dealing with for like over a year, just like things that I know are not real problems and they're not, they're not things that I believe would make you stuck getting solved. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Put yes if you do. Like I've always said, and, and you've probably heard me say this, that there really is no real problem. There is just poor leadership. And I know that that offends people. I know it irritates people because, you know, when you wanna, when you wanna defend yourself, you wanna pretend like your problems are real. You wanna pretend like, like, and I'm not being unempathetic. Like it's real when you don't have any money. It's real when you're bleeding out. It's real when you get sick. It's real when you have somebody serve you with divorce papers. I'm not, not having empathy for that. That's not the topic of what I'm talking about right now. I'm saying that on the flip side, the problems that we have can be solvable. Does that make sense? Like they really, we really do have the ability to solve them. It's a decision that for whatever reason we don't want to make. Does that make sense? Or, well, really, that's really what it is. Uh, there really isn't an or on that. Like, I'm frustrated in this relationship. I've been frustrated forever. And somehow it's just so great that they're just such a good person if they didn't drink. But they do drink. Right? Such an amazing human being if they didn't cheat on me. But, 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 but they do cheat on you. Right? Such a great person to work for. They didn't like steal my customers or clients, but, but, but they did, right? Like, it's like, it's like, we're, we're in this, we're in this like absolute, cre such an amazing human being, but like, they still haven't solved the same problem that you've been dealing with for like six months. Does that make sense you guys? And so, so I share this with you because it is such an easy thing for, for you to defend people. And it is such an easy thing for you to be, um, offended if someone's calling you out, right? Can we just have a human moment? Because this isn't about bashing anybody, right? It's not about that. It's about manage projects, not people. And what I know for sure is that, I don't know, it's like when you got a good one, it's like really guys, it's just so important to just appreciate that you got a good person in your life. And when, when I say good person, it's like, I think they're all good people, but there's a good person that might be around you that you want them to be something different. And really what you need to start thinking of is like, maybe you need to add to your team. You, you guys get what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe it, but I, I, I've asked my husband to take my son to Spanish and I'm asking for troubles on this because this is not an easy thing for my husband to do, even though he's got, I've got him, babe. <laughs> okay, like, this is a real moment. I got him, babe. But, but I'm not quite sure he does. So, so because of history, and my husband would be laughing right now if he was here, by the way. Okay, he, he really would, he'd be laughing. But it's like, you know, he is working so hard on different projects and we have 60 people coming in to Puerto Rico, 60, okay? 60 couples coming into Puerto Rico and they're starting to come in tonight and tomorrow and then we're full on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? And so I share this with you right now because it's not like he's got a small feet on his hands. Does that make sense, you guys? So he dropped the team working on the house and stop them from coming so he can focus on the next thing. I wanna ask you right now as we go into, and, and some of you guys on the On Demand Mastermind right now, I need you guys to actually volunteer some of the homework last night. So if you did the homework last night, if you could just raise your hand 
uh, and let me know. Just raise your hand on the emojis, please, and, and let me know. I want, I, I want to hear from you, but I want to finish this topic real quick. Um, if my husband does not end up getting my son to Spanish on time, I am not going to make my husband feel like a loser because I already know that the way my husband operates, I, I know it, I've known it since I dated him. Does that make sense? And every meeting he has, he's on time for. And then if I bring in a meeting that is not on his schedule, he will say yes, because he has a big heart or, or a task, but those are the ones that get late or something. Do you know what I mean? They get, they get moved because he's already got things in place and somehow in his head, he just, he thinks he could handle it. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Yes. So, and he leads a leadership training. Like he goes after it. He plays at the biggest level possible. And I share this with you because when you play at the biggest level possible, things break. Does that make sense? And so it's who you become in the process to make it work. Do you, do you, get, you guys get what I'm saying? Like Zach would never miss soccer. He will never miss karate. Why? Ash owns those. The things that he doesn't own, they're not really in his ownership. They were in the request. So I, sh I share this with you from our personal standpoint, because that there's a flip to that. There's that with him and I. There's certain things that I value more than anything, and I own them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I absolutely own them. But there's other things I don't own. Right. And, and the things that I don't own, I'm not even close to top performance on. So I just share that with you right now, because as we go through the next segment, which is there's blind spots right now in your life. There are blind spots right now in your life that you are trying to cover certain things that you are letting things slip out. And I asked yesterday, I said to a group of people, I said to you guys, I said, I want you to track every hour, track every hour. And I asked yesterday, I said, track every hour. And I said, you're either going to listen to me, or you're going to learn something major, or you're going to do it your own way, or, you are, or it's just not going to be that important to you, which doesn't make you a loser. Okay. It just means you didn't see the value. And until we see the value in things, we don't follow through. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? But yes, if you do, how do you guys feel like you're even getting a little bit of healing right now? Like there is nothing wrong with you, but if, the, but if we don't do the work to see the value, then we will miss a lot in life. Because here's what I know about the exercise I just put you on. I used to be the girl that was a good starter and a shitty finisher. I was a good starter and a shitty finisher, even on the things that I valued, even on the things that I cared about, and definitely on the things that I really wanted to see grow in my life. And I had to learn, how do I become the type of leader that follows through on the majority of the things that I put up? That I'm the type of person that you can rely on, I'm the type of person that I can rely on, so I can follow through and create the results that I want. Does that make sense? Yes? And so the way that I got a grip on myself, and by the way, it took me three days to do this. Okay? It took me three days to be able to be an excellence on this. And I'm going to ask a couple of people who have already raised their hands that they're going to share. Jessica, Tanya, uh, Barbara, Shazzy, Rose, there's some people who are going to share. And what, I, what the instructions were, and if you did this on social media, would you, would you just let me know, put a T for tracking, put a T for tracking, right? So I know that you tracked yourself yesterday, right? And I asked you to track yourself every hour. So now here's a moment of excellence. Did you actually track every hour for the ones that did it? It's okay if you didn't. What I want you to see is where your blind spots are. Okay, did you actually track every single hour, right? And so, so I put, but not, I track, but not every hour. So that's why it took me three days. So what I had to do when I did this exercise in leadership is I actually had to call my coach every hour. And my coach didn't answer every hour, but the time clock on your phone, right? Like when someone calls, you can see what time they call. And so the time clock would let her know that I called. So do you know what I had to figure out? I'm in the middle of doing real estate or whatever. Like I'm in the middle of work. It's like, oh my gosh, it's the top of the hour. I got to call my coach. Well, how do I stop that? You problem solve through it. You send a text. 
hey, I'm in the middle of a, I'm in the middle of a process, right? Oh, you go to the bathroom, you send a text or you call. Go to the bathroom and call. I, excuse me for a second, I have to go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom, you call. Say, hey coach, it's the top of the hour. I want to let you know that I, yes, I completed what I said I was going to complete in the last hour. And then the next hour, I'm going to create this, right? I'm going to, and what you start to realize is a couple different things. I'm going to give you some highlights on this, okay? First of all, you notice, do you have the commitment to keep your word no matter what? Because you won't make the money you want unless you do. You just don't. You don't become the wife you want to be, the husband you want to be, the friend you want to be, the kid. You don't. You become responsive to offense and triggers. And offense is just you defending yourself on why you didn't do what you said you're going to do. Right? This is called human. Okay? And so we want to get as best at our game as being a human as possible because that's our species. And so we want to be the best that we can be possible based on the fact of being in this skin. Does that make sense? And so number one is, can I keep my word and figure it out? So keep my word and figure it out. So that's kind of like, will you go to the bathroom when you was top of the hour, even if you're with somebody? Nobody's going to stop you from going to the bathroom. What if you're in the middle of like a ski boat in the middle of the ocean, you got no service? Well, you didn't plan that very well, did you? You didn't make arrangements with the person riding a ski boat, but I had no power. How often do you say that? How often do you tell yourself you have no power? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't responsible for that. How often do you actually make everybody else responsible for your goals? Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Are you getting it? Like, this is big. This, this blind spot completely changed my life. It, it literally, I really believe it was the biggest aha I needed because I was so wrapped in my own results that I just, I was so deep in judging myself at that time in my life, right? So number two, so this is top of the hour. So it's tracking, top of the hour. And what you're doing is you're actually declaring what it is that you said you were gonna do, and then did you hit it, yes or no? No, not sort of. Second thing you have to pay, pay attention to is, is your, uh, declaring, right, your declaration, is it clear with a result or are you still paying the very safe game of I'm working on this? Hey, Shannon, I'm just, I, I'm going to work on that this hour. I have no trust for that. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who would consider themselves top performers because they either suppress the people in their life because they don't want any feedback and so nobody gives it to them. Do you know what I mean? Or they are the strongest people in their space so they actually think they're a high performer. They could be a high performer if they actually took feedback. Uh, we, we are big in this in our leadership program. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? It's huge in our leadership program. Okay, and in fact tonight I am doing, it's not even tonight, it's a few hours I'm doing a call for some of the people who want to know about our leadership program. I don't know if Keith, if you have that Zoom. Unfortunately, you guys on social media, I can't really drop it to you unless you send me a private message. But um, Keith, can you drop the Zoom call for tonight? Yeah. I was debating if I was going to do it, but I'm going to do it. It's at two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm, it's going to be like 30, 35 minutes for people who have an interest in doing our leadership program. Okay, so he'll put that, you guys on the Zoom with me, he'll put it in the chat if you want to jump on. I don't know if somebody's on social media that they could post and say if somebody wants to join the call with Shanda about leader, our leadership program, here's the link, right? Yep. It's at 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today, okay? Very informal for only people who are really interested in going deeper on this, okay? However, you can stay right where you're at. I'm not, not saying you have to go do that. I didn't even want to do the call, to be really honest. I'm doing it because I said I was going to do it. But trust me, about an hour ago, I was like, I don't really want to do it. I want to go, I want to go get ready and do the other things I'm going to do. So what am I battling with? Dishonesty. Keeping my word. Do you know what I mean? I'm a human just like you. This is the stuff that keeps my cart on the railroad. Do you know what I mean? Like, I could just download the list and send it over to somebody on the team and say, would you just call these people because they want to know about leadership and I've really got to go do this other stuff, right? Because what I did was I actually overcommitted myself by saying I would do that. 
And so I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep my word. Right. But I want you to know the real transparency behind closed doors. Does that make sense? Like, but I'm still stepping up and I'm still doing it. And so you get what I'm saying, y'all? Yes. Okay. So is your declaration connected to a clear result? Right. Is it connected to a clear result? Or are you still saying stuff like in the next hour, I'm going to work on my book in the next hour. I'm going to like, you know, work out. What about in the next hour? I'm going to work out a 10 out of 10. I'm going to go on. Or in the next hour, I'm going to complete two chapters of my book. In the next hour, I'm going to, so it's like completion energy, right? Completion energy. That's what results are. It's completing something. That's how you build trust, you guys, with some of you guys who have broken trust with people in your life because you haven't kept your word enough. And now you're worried like, why does he not support me? Why does she not support me? Well, she has good reason or he has good reason. And you can change that right now. If you did this with your spouses, your parents, your sisters, your brothers, if you actually put yourself in kind of a cocoon with them for a full day and you did this with them, you guys are going to grow closer in bonding. Why? There's a good feeling with this. Completion energy has a good feeling with it. Well, what happens when you have a good feeling? <sighs> motivation. Right? And it's not going to last. Motivation is going to last if you don't keep putting stuff like this in your calendar. So like if you're really feeling like you want to hit it this year, you want to crush it this year, if you're in a mastermind, like our Mentally Live mastermind or somebody else's mastermind, go in and get somebody to do that. Like become like every Friday is your productivity week a day because you don't want to go on the weekend feeling like a slump. You want to finish the, you know what I mean? Whatever. Like maybe it's every Monday, maybe it's every Wednesday because you want to shore up on your goals for the week and make sure you hit them. And so you're going to do it every Wednesday, right? This is not a one hour thing. I, I wouldn't even do this for less than three hours. Okay, and really dedicating a full day to yourself and keeping your word and doing this with someone is absolutely brilliant because it's not another thing you're adding. Like people message me, I'm in leadership. I want to pause them to be live. I'm, at, I'm like, no, no, you don't get it. That is how you play. You want to put pause on your parenting while you're working. You want to put pause on your love life with your spouse when you're stressed out. You want to put pause, like that's not... That's not making you a better leader as a human. Do you guys get it? Like that's not working for you. It is actually you giving in to stress, fear, and fear is a complete liar, right? You gotta step up to these things because I'm telling you the miracle that you wanna see in your life right now is in the step up. It's not in the setback. It's not gonna take some pressure off me. That's not where it is. The pressure never went away. Just because you put something on the calendar somewhere else and you put it on pause, the pressure didn't go away. In fact, if you wanna make money and you do our leadership program where you do this once a week, even just this once a week, some people would consider that pressure. I'm like, step up and put your, go your hourly goals in to handle the things that are scaring you. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Like, you 100% can step up to any pressure or fear that you're facing. It's all a lie. But when we don't structure our life with any sort of accountability, then what we do is we spin out. And that grows every day that you spin out. Every day that you go to bed and you know, you know, like you know, like you know, that you wasted today. It is a horrible feeling. And that weight becomes weight on your motivation, weight on your energy, weight on your resourcefulness. And what happens is you fall apart. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? And so you can't fall apart because guess what happens if you fall apart? Nothing works. You guys who have a worthiness conversation, it's time to drop that. Because you already know that you're so important that nothing works unless you are good. And so take some responsibility and put something like this in your life, right? So these are the two areas that I really look at. Is the declaring clear on a result, so completion energy, or is somebody working on things? 
Now, this is kind of a ninja move. When you say this is what I want, and your hourly is everything but focused on what you want, we need a realignment. Okay, we need a, a realignment. So somebody sent me this. Do not do this, by the way. Do not start sending me your tracking. Okay, I love you all, but do not start sending me your tracking. But somebody sent me your tracking. I looked, and I was like, yeah. I was like, uh, you have no money-making activity in here. She took a nap with her husband. She did like, I was like, oh, beautiful life. But completely lacking urgency. Right, beautiful life. Like, lo I love the love, but very, very lax. And if that's what you want, that's totally cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's totally cool. I don't know if her husband's sick or that's their time together. Or they make love on that nap. I don't know. So it's not for me to judge. But when I looked at her hourly, that it was very easy for me to see why that person is probably not generating a lot of money. Now, I'll give you another example of a great friend of mine who I had, I put her on this because she kept saying, shit, I'm not getting my results. I'm not getting my results. She was a mentor me live. Really good family friend. And I was like, do this. And she did. I was like, I mean, I don't know how you would actually expect to get results. You're with your kid until 1130 in the morning. And then you work for 45 minutes. And then you have some coaching calls for an hour and a half. And then you're with your kid again. I mean, I don't know where your husband's at. So I'm pretty sure that relationship's stressed. And there is no space dedicated to generating income. Do you know, it's pretty much giving. I'm giving as a mother. I'm giving to my clients. And then I'm giving as a mother again. And I was like, so no wonder your revenue is going down. And when she, and I see this a lot, people come into my ecosystem and work with them. They have these, they build email and text message lists. They have a nice little pop in their results. Many of them, not all, but many of them. And then they start to, okay, like, it's kind of like what I used to do with God. I'd pray, I would get the blessing. <laughs> Say, okay, now I will take it back and I will handle it my way, right? And then what happens is I end up on the left field and I'm like, where am I in my life right now? How did all this happen? You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's real clear when it happens, Shanda. You stop following the obedience of the prompting, right? So there's prompting and coaching. There's prompting and coaching. And every time you pass a level, there's a new prompt for a next level. Everybody wants that level, but like you can't get that level unless you do this level. So you keep prompting up. So there's always more. And so whether you're coaching with me or coaching with someone else, let me tell you something. There's always more. The question is, is are you asking the right questions, which really comes down for you to reanalyze what do you want. And then instead of keeping that with you, you need to come out and ask the question on how do I get there? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So Jessica Blair, let's pop you up here. Hi there. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, so you did this exercise. I love that blue. Thank you. <laughs> um, so what, uh, what, um, what did you discover about yourself when you did this exercise? Well, I did have one of those days like you were talking about where I had unexpected things like water heater issues, not being able to take a shower. It, it did throw me off that I am very regimented this way. I just need to keep focusing on money making activities being a mom. Um, my window for work is very small right now. Okay, so so um, do you have that list in front of you right now? Yeah. Um, can you tell me, can you read a little bit on there? <clears throat> okay, so seven o'clock bash, lunch and school. So that's like seven to eight, that's the run of getting kids to school. Um, eight o'clock, I couldn't take a shower, so I tried to get ready, had breakfast, um, 9 a.m. I like tried to work out, and then I, I got ready. I'm like, forget it. I can't take a shower right now. Then I did um, Shonda, 9 to 10, and then I worked on a client's website, 10 to 11, um, and then 11 o'clock, I finished getting ready and then continued working on client work. 
uh, 12 o'clock, I actually interviewed. So around 1230, I had to prep for my interview. So I'm looking at money making activities. And the interview was like, not what I want, but it's immediate money. I had my interview and then um, went back to work, not fo focusing on money at all, but working on client stuff. And then I did actually have a live with Shazzy, which was impromptu based on your coaching. We did a live. So that was my first live. Three o'clock, um, I picked up my son and every day we're at the playground for an hour with his friends. And then I did go back to work um, after getting his snacks, worked until about six o'clock, and then I did family time for the rest of the night. Okay, so let me tell you what I hear from what you're saying. So you're structured, but you're doing you're doing a lot of working on. So mm -hmm. I tell you by listening to the way that you're talking that it's like you're running behind your schedule. Yeah. It, it feels exhausting. Yeah. I absolutely love that you have a placeholder of three to four at the park with your son and his friends. That is about the most stable thing on your entire calendar. Yeah, except I do work out typically. I get up at 5.30, so I, my other place builder is absolutely working out 6 to 7. Okay, so, so, okay, so, working out. Okay, so great. So, so you have the, you have those pieces, right? Which is, which is fantastic. That's really working for you. But like, at, you're like work, I hear the work, working on, worked on a client, not, didn't really do money, gen, but I think if you worked with a client, like if I was doing an agency work with you, I'd be like, how do I complete this? Where's the mm -hmm. completion? I complete yeah. it, present it to you and give you the outline of the things that we probably need to add to this work scope. Mm -hmm. Because I, yeah. once you complete something, you see something else. So there is a money generating activity that is connected there. There's fulfillment, but there's also money generating activity. If you had the space to look at it and see how to make it more of what they want that they don't even see yet. So almost like pointing out blind spots. So your calendar with love is being run from a leadership component that 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 feels like it's kind of like there's no end, right? Like yes. it's, it's merging into each other, and so I shifted today. We're doing. We're shifting. Yeah. So let, let me give you this because it will help, right? Yeah. So you're, you're like water, and whatever boulders are coming, you're going up it, around it, and you're getting. You're like I'm sure you're sliding into bed at the end of the night because. Yeah. So you're working out is your time, which is great, six to seven, which is your time dedicated to you. That There's got some self-worth to that. But I'm going to tell you, start declaring, start declaring monthly goals, which you, probably, you might already do. But then ask yourself, when I look at my, when I look at my, my one to three priorities for a day, how are they hitting that monthly goal? And you should have one main monthly goal. Everybody, when you guys have multiple monthly goals, I'm, I'm, if you've got multiple people that work with you, you can have multiple monthly goals. But if you're the main game, that kind of rhymed, if you're the main game, then what that means is if you have multiple things you wanna do in a month, it means the main thing's not big enough. You, you need to have a goal that uh, like trumps all the rest of them. And that goal that trumps all the rest of them, there might be some things that kind of like, that kind of come off it. Do you know what I mean? Like there might be some cross sell ideas or whatever, right? Like there might be some cross benefits, but you need to have a goal that's so big, like that if you really want to run optimized, okay? So, so if you really want to watch, like, I have a major, major vision for the next 30 days and it takes priority over everything. Okay. And so what it does is it forces my calendar to not do that. And when my calendar does what your calendar just did, I, I, I'm like, whoa, 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 I gotta stop. And I stop and I get a grip and I'm like, Realign what is my big what is the big thing because can I tell you the only reason why you guys are going to miss it is because you're not taking my coaching on this one. If the goal is big enough, it will trump everything else. You won't feel like you need to do anything else. Okay. Does that make sense? And so your hourlies will move into that. Okay. Does that help? Yeah, exciting. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome.
awesome. Okay, you guys on social media, I'm gonna say bye to you. I'm gonna to go to the getgoodcoaching.com group, which is our hardcore on-demand mastermind. So if you wanna join us later on tomorrow, we do this every day, Monday through Friday. On Friday, I have our, our, uh, our CMO, Gome, who's one of the nicest hearted people on the planet. Good, good husband, great friend, big family, good, good son, and a phenomenal CMO. I've actually never, never created results with anybody else the way I created with Gome. So if you want to join us on the getgoodcoaching.com site, you could go there for $30 a month, $30 a month. You get 15 trainings uh, throughout the month and you can actually join us for the rest of this week and the rest of this month. So that being said, we're going to say bye to you guys on social media. Here's my, here's my coaching for you. And this homework goes for everyone. I'm going to really recommend that you now take the nugget of what is my goal even for the rest of this month. We are currently in a position where you've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 days left to this month. You can do an entire month worth of goals in 11 days. I'm telling you. You really can. And so look at what you wanted to create this month. And if you didn't set a goal, then set one now. If you did set a goal, I want you to move everything out of your way and go after hitting that goal. So if you did set a goal this month, I don't want, I want, I don't want you to just go, oh, well, we got 11 days left. No, 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 I want you to become obsessive. It's about the only time I would tell you to work over weekends. Because it's more important, it's a bigger priority for you to keep your word than it is for you to take the weekend off on this occasion. That is not sustainable. That is not how I want you to run on a regular basis. It's where I want you to run right now, even if you're tired. And the reason why is because it's amazing what happens to your energy when you actually become the person that optimizes your calendar the way we've been talking hourly and creates the result that you said you were gonna create. Nobody can take that from you. There's no bad attitude, there's no grumpy spouse, there's no grumpy mom, there's no, I'm still single, there's none of that, right? Like there's just nothing that can take you off the mark when you feel good about who you are and how you're showing up. Do you guys see what I'm saying? So I'll see you guys on social tomorrow and on demand, I'm coming to you now.